Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 125. We just finished our weekly Q&A over in the community group. Make sure you check it out. There were a lot of really great questions this week. But today I am asking you, what does an aggressive goat and a tattoo artist have in common? Well, they have the same thing in common as an early bird, and the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> So I'm always looking for analogies in business and I'm always paying attention. A few days ago, I took the kids to Living Treasures and if you're not familiar, it's similar to a zoo, but it's a little bit more hands-on. You can interact with the animals and feed them. And they have this huge pen of goats and you can get in with the goats and feed them. And so I bought the kids some carrots so they could feed the animals and the goats. And these goats, I am telling you what, they are so greedy. They eat so many carrots and there's so many people there and they cannot get enough of these carrots. They are super aggressive when it comes to the carrots. Have you ever been around goats? Um, by the way, we had goats when I was little. They are so funny and ornery and they just find trouble everywhere they go. And by the way, they eat everything, which is why I don't think we'll have them on the homestead because they are little destroyers. Anyway, not the point. They're very aggressive. And guess who gets the carrot? Guess who? the aggressive goat, the one who is shoving its head into your face or through the fence, some of them are out and some of them are in, that's the goat that gets the carrot, the aggressive one, not the meek, mild, little ones in the background, bah, bah. they're not getting the carrot, the one that just goes after the carrot. Do you think that goat cares what other people think about it? Do you think that goat's all like, oh, I better be so aggressive today because um, Martha over there, she's going to judge me. Oh, I don't want to look like a pig because I'm not a pig. I'm a goat. I mean, do you think that they compare themselves to others and worry about what the other goat is going to think when they're going after that carrot? Um, the answer is no. Goats have one objective two. One is to get food and the other is to cause trouble. So they're going after the carrot. I read recently about flowers in comparison. Does a flower look at the flower next to it and compare itself? No. The flower just blooms. That's what it does. We have real trouble with comparison and worrying what other people think. Goats do not care. And we can learn from them. It was fantastic. So what a great analogy, right? The, the aggressive goat. By the way, I have two speeds. Aggressive and super aggressive. Because there are a whole bunch of people that are not going to do that. And they're not going to get what they're after in life, no matter what that is. Okay, but now to the tattoo artist. This is also interesting. A few days ago, I posted on my personal page asking Facebook for help getting Ella's ears pierced. Ella is almost 15. We had her ears pierced when she was like seven or eight, you know, just at the place at the mall, kapow, kapow, right? And she had trouble with them like right out of the gate. So we tried for several months, but she kept getting a hematoma on the back of one ear, very red. It was never infected, but just kind of red and painful and sore. And yes, she was wearing precious metal earrings. We cleaned them, we twisted them, we followed all of the rules. She just had trouble. We had to remove them and let them grow in. Okay, so here we are seven, eight years later, whatever. She wants to get her ears pierced again. So I asked the Facebook, I said, dear Facebook, can you help me understand the best way to get Ella's ears pierced? Well, apparently, a lot of people have an opinion on that because there were, I think, about 50 comments on that post and people were giving their two cents or their experience, but they were also tagging friends that own tattoo shops because apparently, what I'm gathering from the Facebook, is that it's better to use a hollow needle, more sanitary, actually pushes through the ear instead of pushing flesh up into the ear or something like that. But every, the consensus was, uh, go to a specialist, go to somebody who does not not the place at the mall, right? All right, so um, that's what we're gonna do. But so all of these people commented and many of them tagged um, either maybe a tattoo artist page or their name and people were sharing it, which is so nice. Facebook is so helpful and something interesting happened. I was looking at all of these names and these tattoo shops. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but really not my scene so I'm not familiar with who who would be good or who's not good like I have 
I have no gauge for that. And before you think, oh, look, she's judging tattoo shops, false. I'm afraid of them. But the reason I'm afraid of them is because there are a lot of skulls with snakes. Sometimes even a skull with a snake coming out of the eye. That's scary. If that doesn't scare you, then woo, that's why. Okay, I just don't know. It's not my world. I don't know anything about it. So my next step was to click on all these pages, go to these websites and figure out, okay, who's close by, uh, what do they cost, and what's the process? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I just figured I was gonna have to do some research and figure this all out. Meanwhile, my almost 15 year old daughter is like pestering me, like constant hounding me. When are you gonna find that out? And then something really interesting happened. I got a friend request and a private message from a gentleman that owns a tattoo shop. And he said, hey Heather, I saw your post on getting your daughter's ears pierced. We'd love to help you. Here's a link, here's what we do, here's why we do it, for the comfort of your loved ones. He was just very professional and respectful and helpful. And I thought, I don't even care where this dude is lo located, bros get in my business, right? Because, why? Because I didn't have to think. I did not have to do any research. And by the way, after I figured out where he was, he's not the closest. I also did not even inquire as to pricing. I don't care. I'm going to this guy because he was aggressive. And so aggressive doesn't have to have this negative connotation. It wasn't aggressive like uh, a used car salesman. It was a helpful serving, hey, I saw you had a question. We do what you're looking for. Here's how we do it. Here's why you want to use a tattoo shop instead of the piercing pagoda. And here's my page. So I immediately replied and I said, thank you so much for all of the information. Do you have any availability in the next week or so? And he said, our hours are whatever they are and walk-ins are welcome so you don't need an appointment. I only take appointments for major pieces or something. I don't know, you know, again, I'm not familiar with that world. Okay, done. I'm going this afternoon. I'm taking her to this place that is not the closest, probably not the cheapest, and I don't even care because this guy eliminated something for me. He eliminated a hassle. I didn't have to think. I didn't have to research. He answered my questions almost before I even knew I had them. That, my friends, is just good business. And by the way, when I go there this afternoon, I plan on telling him all of this. I may even share this video so I can show him. He got the business because he was aggressive. And as Terry just said, not aggressive, but a go-getter. So. We have the goat who goes after the carrots, and the goat cares not about what the other goats are thinking. Ooh, is she judging me? Is she judging me because I ate so many carrots today and it's starting to impact my figure? Oh, I better not go after these carrots. Okay, it's funny, it's ridiculous. Of course the other goats aren't judging one another. They are worried about getting the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> they will do anything. Have you ever been around these goats? They are hilarious. It is the funniest thing in the world. And then you have the tattoo guy who just goes and makes things happen. And he's not worried about what other people think. By the way, there's definitely a gender issue at play here. I'm not stereotyping, but the research shows, so this is not my opinion, the research has proven that this comparison issue is much stronger with women than it is with men. Men, for the most part, just don't care. They just do what they need to do, and so what what other people think. But women are always like, oh, oh what's she gonna think? Oh, is he judging me? Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody's watching you. Just go do your thing, go after the carrots, go after the tattoo piercing. I mean, it all makes perfect sense. <laughs> Becky says, I might go to a tattoo shop before heading into a goat pen. She said she was traumatized by goats. Absolutely. I really hope that you found this useful. I am obviously very passionate about, passionate about the subject of confidence and comparison and also your level of aggressiveness. Can you tell me in the comments what your level of aggressiveness 
is right now if say if we rated it on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being not aggressive at all I just sit back and hope people find me to a 10 who's like super aggressive goes out and just makes things happen let me know where you're at because the key to getting better is uh, recognizing where you are and the room for an improvement and then measuring it so we can say okay if you're at a one or two right now what can we do to get you to a four or five and then ultimately up to a nine or ten so you can be like a goat or a tattoo artist Dave you're a one that's actually surprising to me because you're a dude okay Becky's not a goat but she's a level eight Terry says she's a level three and so you have to ask yourself what is holding you back from being more aggressive um, usually it's fear and remember what fear is Fear is the fear of being judged and comparing yourself and not feeling ready. Chrissy says she's probably in the five to seven range. Yeah, I think you've got a pretty good handle on this, Chrissy. We could always improve. I think the reason people struggle besides fear is that you are associating aggression with being negative. And it's not because the tattoo artist dude was aggressive in a very helpful way. He served my needs, answered my questions before I knew I had them. Brilliant. I cannot wait to share all this information with him and just congratulate him on a job well done because I'm operating in a world that I'm not familiar with and I was very appreciative of, of, help, of his help. It's a level of service and it's about being a professional. So go out there, be a professional, be aggressive, continue to flourish. I'll see you soon.